Hello guys, myself Amrita. Welcome back to our channel Technosage. So in today's video, we are going to discuss lead code problem number 258 that is add digits. So let's get started. Given an integer num, repeatedly add all its digits until the result has only one digit and return it. So in the example, you can see we have been given one number that is 38. So we have to sum its digits, which is 8 plus 3 that is 11. And then again, we have to sum its digit 1 plus 1, that is 2. So we have to keep doing the sum of its digits until we get the one digit as the answer, right? So now let's understand how we are going to solve the problem. So let me write it here. For example, it's 38. So 3 plus 8, that is 11. And then again, 11, that is 1 plus 1, which is equal to 2, which is the answer. So basically, I have written this to make you understand how it is going to work. So basically if the number is 0, so the sum is going to be 0. For 1, it is going to be 1. So 0 to 9, it is going to be the same digit. So when the number is 2 digits, right? 1 plus 0, it will come as 1. 1 plus 1, 2. 2 plus 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then again 9 plus 1, that is 10. 1 plus 0, that is 1, right? Similarly for this, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. What we are going to do here, we are going to use the divisibility rule of 9. So what does the divisibility rule of 9 states that if any number is divisible by 9, digit is going to be 9 itself. For example, let's take this number 18, right? So when you divide 18 by 9, what is the remainder? 0, correct? So if 9 completely then what if what is the sum of its digits that is 1 plus 8 which is equal to 9 correct let's take some other example for example 27 so if it is 27 when you divide 27 by 9 you get remainder as 0 correct it is completely divisible so definitely sum of its digits is going to be 9 for example 2 plus 7 that would be equals to 9 correct so that means we have got one case that if number is completely divisible by 9, then definitely sum of its digits is going to be 9. Correct? And also if number is going to be 0, then obviously sum of its digits would be 0 itself. So two cases we got. How we are going to find the sum of all these digits? That would be number divisible by 9, whatever the remainder we got. For example, let's take the number as 13. If you divide 13 by 9, what is the remainder? Remainder is 4. Then definitely what would be the sum? 1 plus 3 which would be equals to 4. Let's take some other examples also to understand this. Let's take some random number 23. Right? So when you divide 23 by 9, what do you get? 9 3 is 18. So what is the remainder? That is 5. So that means sum of its digits is going to be 5. 2 plus 3 is 5. This is how we can find the sum of its digits in the three parts. One, if number is zero, what is going to be the sum? Sum would be zero itself. And second, if number is completely divisible by nine, that means remainder you are getting is zero. Then sum of its digit is going to be nine itself. And the third one, if number is not 0 or number is not divisible by 9, then sum of its digits is going to be number divided by 9 and what whatever we get the remainder. For example, 25, when you divide 25 by 9, what you are going to get? You are going to get the remainder as 7. So that means sum of its digits is going to be 7. 2 plus 5, which is equals to 7. Now let's write the solution for it. So this is our class that is add digits. Now let's write the method that would be public static int add digits int num. And then if number is 0, then we are going to return 0. So we have excluded the case for 0 now. Otherwise, what we are going to do? We are going to return if number is completely divisible by 9, that means it is going to give the remainder as 0, then you have to return 9. Otherwise, it should be remainder num% 9. Correct? So this is how we are going to solve this problem. Now let's write the main method. Let's take the number as 38. Let's write the print statement. Add digits num. 
let's run the program and see the output so the output is 2 correct let's take some other big number let's take 3854 so if the number is 3854 what is going to be the sum 3 plus 8 plus 5 plus 4 it would be 20 and then 2 plus 0 that is going to be 2 correct so now let's run the program and see the output for this one So the output is 2. So this is how we can solve this problem. If you have any questions, any doubts, please let me know in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe our channel. Thank you for watching.